pharma industry globally is a trillion dollar industry. Now, having said that, in India, it is growing exponentially. So it is important for you as a pharma professional, if you are subscribed to Pharma Nikar, to know what is the career ladder you should follow. Now, first I'll tell you the traditional career ladder and then I'll tell you how can you get in faster, right? So the traditional career ladder, everybody thinks is starting with R&D, right? So you start with a research associate, research assistant, research scientist. Sometimes you get a lab technician job. Sometimes you get a QC analyst job, right? That's a R&D. Then sometimes you look into the business side of pharma and you apply for uh, sales representative, marketing associate, business analyst. But if in case you are interested in regulatory and operations, you become a regulatory affairs associate, manufacturing associate, clinical research associate. Now these are all entry level. Now as you gain experience three to seven years, you become a senior research scientist if you are in R&D or a product manager or a senior quality assurance specialist. If you get into the leadership roles, then you become a project manager, regulatory affairs manager, uh, manufacturing supervisor. If you get into the senior roles, then of course, after eight to 15 years, that is a you know, age group or the experience group, you get it, become a director of R&D or a marketing director or an operations director or a strategic role such as business development director or a medical affairs director. Then you can also jump to the chief scientific officer role in future after 15 years of experience, chief medical officer, chief commercial officer or a CEO, chief executive officer. Now, having said that, which one is right for you? Of course, you tell me in the comment section which one you want to become. But let me tell you, how can you get in faster? See, the pharma industry has been here for last several years, right? So already it is saturated. So if you try to get in, it will show resistance. It will not allow you to get in so easily, right? So you have to opt for new age jobs in pharma. Now, what are the new age jobs in pharma? Chem informatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning in uh, chemistry and pharma, drug discovery, AI ML in drug discovery. Then you can get into global regulatory affairs. You can get into QA, QC. Now, these are easy jobs, easy to get in. But remember, if your target goal is to become a R&D scientist, then you have to go through the traditional method itself. But learning chem informatics and AI ML definitely will be a good opportunity. If you want to get into clinical research, of course, that is also an exploding field because the drug discovery itself is exploding. So more clinical uh, trials will happen. Now, having said that, now that I have told you the career ladder, let me tell you the truth. Pharma industry welcomes those who are at the borders of science, arts, commerce. Now, what do, I, what do I mean by that? You have to learn the latest science, which is AI, ML and Bacchem Informatics. Then you have to learn mathematics. Then you have to learn how to implement it to create a commercial product or a product which the pharma industry will be interested in. And that's how you get a job faster. All the best.